Cornell Marsrover has worked tirelessly over the past seven months on the design and manufacture of a URC ready rover, and we are super excited to share with you Odyssey. Our team is broken into eight different subteams organized by discipline. The arm subteam is responsible for building and designing the rover's robotic arm. The drive subteam oversees development of the rover suspension, wheels, frame, and electronics housing. The electrical subteam is responsible for developing the hardware required to communicate with the rover and power onboard actuators and sensors. The software subteam handles rover controls, path planning, user interfaces, and computer vision. The Astrotech subteam is responsible for onboard soil delivery and analysis for the science task. The science subteam designs tests and procedures to detect life from soil and rock samples. The testing subteam is responsible for creating tests to ensure the development of a successful rover. And finally, the business subteam manages team finance, web and presentation design, and both public and sponsor outreach. The academic year is split into three development periods, a fall designing phase, a winter manufacturing phase, and a spring testing phase. Because of state and university rules regarding in-person work, we have had limited access to our lab space, machine shop, and rapid prototyping lab. As such, we are currently finishing up manufacturing, but we are on schedule to finish within the next two weeks. The main focuses of the ARM subteam this year have been the iterative improvement of our ARM, which we redesigned last year, and simplification of our manufacturing processes. Our custom cycloidal gearboxes now have gears made out of surface hardened steel rather than aluminum, greatly increasing their load capacity while reducing their overall size. Using data from a dynamic model of the ARM made in MATLAB, we were able to standardize the gearboxes to a much larger degree, cutting the number of unique parts on the ARM in half. This year's arm is electrically identical to last year's, so we have been using it to test the electrical and software elements of the arm while the mechanical components are still being assembled. The drives team has redesigned our drivetrain to feature a rocker bogey suspension system made from high strength, low mass carbon fiber tubing. The tubes are connected with structural epoxy at mass optimized aluminum tube unions that we machined in house. The wheel subsystem consists of an interlocking rigid inner wheel and a flexible outer wheel. They are powered by Maxon motors that drive cycloidal drive gearboxes we have designed and manufactured. The electrical subteam has been tasked to design and develop a robust hardware system that meets the demands of the software and mechanical team's competition requirements. We handle low-level control of motors and sensors via PIC32 microcontrollers. Our central communication board handles sending commands to each board, and a CAN bus connects the whole network together. This year, we improved the reliability of our modular motor control scheme to run brushless motor drivers for the ARM and DRIVES teams and brush drivers for the Astrotech team. This year, the software team worked to improve our AR tag detection using the Team Z camera. Our AR tag detection system is resilient against bright sunlight conditions and angles in excess of 45 degrees. We provide 360 degree obstacle detection using LiDAR to guarantee the rover's safe traversal in the task. Our inverse kinematics interface allows users to drag and drop a 3D model of the arm in a 3D rendering of the world. This year, Astrotech has redesigned our onboard soil and rock analysis system. The rover scoop attached to the end of the arm transports soil samples from the ground to the mixing chamber. Once the soil is in the mixing chamber, a crankshaft piston mechanism creates a soil and water mixture by sloshing it in an up and down motion. Finally, our custom peristaltic pump pushes the soil water suspensions from each sample into test tubes in the observation chamber for analysis by the science team. The science subteam designed new and specific tests to distinguish between extant, extinct, and no life environments by analyzing rock and soil samples. Using colorimetry data, we are able to pinpoint relative concentrations of nitrogen as well as the pH of our collected soil samples, along with various macromolecules that allow us to determine if life currently does or once did exist in the soil. Using a 3D printed filter wheel, the rover photographs rocks and through the analysis of its average reflectance values allows us to determine its mineral composition. The testing subteam developed several tests for the rover and various subsystems in order to ensure the development of a competition ready rover. This year, we conducted tests to find the flow rate of Astrotech's peristaltic pump at varying motor torques, the proper spring coefficient of our new wheels design, and the heating coil design that leads to the fastest boiling time. With a focus on reliability, we have a rigorous testing plan. The team is divided into four task teams for testing, one for each of the URC missions. Each task team lead, under the guidance of the testing subteam, develops and executes an incremental testing strategy, gradually bringing the rover up to full functionality. Odyssey and the rest of the team are just about ready for competition and we hope to see you in Utah.